quit. Quit. Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and Luna. Say hi, sweet girl. And we have a Timu haul for you today. I was lucky enough to be sent these products and I wanted to share them with you. Uh, first and foremost, there is a 30% off your first order discount code in the description box below. So if you sign up using that link, you'll get 30% off your purchase. Um, and all the items are linked below in the description box. All right, let's get into it. So I'm not, I'm not sure why they sent me this, but they did. I know 100% did not order this. Um, but yeah, there we have it. Bunny ear hat. Very bizarre, but, um, okay. I'll let Luna play with that. Oh, now my hair's a mess. Okay, let's get into the real stuff. So this is a little hodgy-podgy of stuff. I grabbed, let me see, I opened one. This goo that you use in your, you can use it on your keyboard, in your car to help clean, which I'm excited to clean my car. It does smell weird. Don't get it on your carpet. It's like slime. Um, but they sent me two sets. So each set, that I ordered came with a jar and then a refill or just a smaller one for like your cell phone or, you know, little groovy thingies you want to clean out. I wanted to try it. I wanted to give my car a deep clean this spring as soon as the temperature allows because right now it's 20 degrees. I picked up one of these because I just think it's funny. It's a julienne vegetable peeler and I am all about this because I can't wait for summer and zucchini. So you have your different sides here. I think this one, Julian's like, um, I don't quite know how to use it, but we're going to figure it out. Let's see. Okay. So yes. Yeah. So this side here with the teeth, you will pe feel your vegetables and it will cut them into strips. And this one cuts them into small and then you can, you know, there's all kinds of stuff. But I grabbed this, and it's called the Julianne Vegetable Peeler Stainless Steel Handle and Blade. Um, yeah. Oh, there's goop. So I grabbed that. Hi, Luna. So I will wash it and give it a go. Um, I picked up two sets of these to try them out because I wasn't sure which one I would like. And you can return items, so this is totally fine. This is the Lenovo headset, and this is a brand I've never heard of before. It is Hi-Fi Audio Wireless Wear Stereo Headphones. I will tell you of the two, I preferred this set um, for sound quality. The Lenovos are great, and I'm actually giving them to Sarah. <laughs> this dog is ridiculous. I'm giving these ones to Sarah. I just prefer this set, and they're great, so I will show you. They both look the same, except for the Lenovos are pink. And these are white, but I got them for the airplane or anytime I would like a little extra noise cancellation. So they are chargeable Bluetooth, but they come with a cable as well if you would like to plug these in. So like on the airplane, I can plug in these headsets on the airplane, but they do go completely over your head and there's a nice noise canceling quality to these plus you know what they say to the people who want to chit chat with me no thanks and they fold out this size they don't come with like a bag which is all right for the price i'll make a bag um yeah they're great they both look identical the lenovo's are pink and these would be great too if your kids need these for school and then i got these obviously in the white and gold Oh, we better let Luna in the picture. Luna! I had to do my thumbnail, guys. So, the pink ones, they go to Sarah. I picked up one of these. This is the Portable Rechargeable Battery Juicer. And I actually saw somebody at work doing this. We do have ice machines at my office that are the little ones that do um, the little cubes. And so what you do with this is you take the top off, right? 
well, actually, I lied. You take the bottom off. You fill it up. There is a blade. You charge this up. It Okay, hi. Hi. No, no, thank you. No, no. Where's your brothers? Where's your friends? Okay. She's going to be licky. Stop. You stop. You stop. Go get your toy. Get your toy. I'll play with you. Um, and then when you go to pour it out, this one has like a funnel. Or I'm sorry. It has a colon. That was my armpit. Has a colander at the top. Would you go get your toy, please? Go get your toy. Has a colander at the top. So you can do juice. You can do protein shakes in here. There's all kinds of stuff. And it charges right here. And zzz. so I got that to try out. And I actually have seen a few people using it. And if you're a protein shake kind of person, that'll whip them up real fast for you. Um, I grabbed these for myself because I was running low. Sorry for the crinkling. I thought I took everything out of the plastic already. You get 10 hangers and you see these everywhere. I'm going to tell you why I like these better. So these are the hangers. They're velvet covered or like a velour covered. So for your t-shirts and stuff that you hang, it keeps them from falling off. That's why I like them. I like them also because they're, <laughs> would you stop? They're a very thin profile, so um, they don't take up a lot of room. But this right here was the selling point for me. You can hang your belt, your scarves, any type of accessories that you might want to hang with this. Come here. Sit right here. There you go. Any type of accessories that you would like to hang on it, you can do that. And... Um, the ones that I have have this like belt hook here and what happens is they get stuck to each other and it's annoying. So I like these that they don't and I also like the low profile. So I grabbed these hangers. All right, let me get her settled because she wants some attention right now and I will be right back. Okay, let's get you a toy. Okay, I got Luna all settled. And the hangers, I love these. And mine, no, I will tell you, they break easy. I mean, anywhere you buy them, they break easy. So I needed to replace them. And I needed those for my um, closet. Because, you know, clothes. I picked up these little magnets. Now, I use, I'm going to take them out. I use um, a different brand of these for cross stitch because it holds my fabric pretty tight. These, I can tell you right now, will not do that. They're not strong enough of a magnet to hold your cross stitch. But I'm hoping that it's a strong enough magnet to hold my um, charging cables when I pack things up for travel. I think that should be enough to corral um, some charging cables together. I don't have any right here I would show you. But yes, to charge, to hold your charging cables is what these are designed for. Uh, oh, I do have a cable. Hold on. Yeah, they are definitely not um, the strength of the ones that I get, which is called Smart and Cool. They're in my Amazon shop, which is linked below. They will hold anything. They're super strong, but that's perfect. That's all I need it for is to hold some charging cables together. I have some Velcro as well, but I thought I would give these a go. And like I said, they're not they're not very strong. I lost one too. And I will tell you also, let me get this out of here. Here we go. If you have little ones at your house, I would not buy these. The magnet can come out, right, of that hole. That's the magnet right there. These are probably not a good purchase. Um, I, I don't think they're safe. I'll just throw that out there. So I will put these back in their little bag and see what I will make of them. I also have Velcro that I've had in my travel kit, so to hold my cables, th those. Um, I picked up this little tiny planner. It is a little like um, traveler's notebook situation. I mean, it's not really, but you have plain paper, colored paper, and this little doodah here is just your cover. And then that comes off. 
and there's a little happy face on it, but it's a tiny little notebook that is perfect for throwing in my purse. I'm a list maker, so this is great to make my little lists on, and then I can work my way through the pad, which is what I do. And then I also grab these. These are little post-its. Now we're gonna test them out. Do they work like a post-it note? Well, that's not terrible. Yeah, they're pretty good. Yeah, they have a good, I mean, they're not post-it note quality, but you know, whatever. I got them in pink and purple. I do love a good post-it, especially because I liked the size that would fit in this little notebook. So this is a set for me. Um, like I said, I will throw this little notebook in my purse and it just keeps on my shopping list, my to-dos, the things I think about while I'm out on the road. If I go to a coffee shop and I want to take some notes or research some video ideas or whatever, I love having just a little tiny notebook. And this is perfect. And then for the larger notebook, I grabbed this lined journal, which is fantastic. I love it. It's so soft. I love the cream pages. These are lined and you can date them. So you could use this as like a planner for the year or some type of, any type of journal really. But you have at the top what day of the week it is. Um, so you can mark the day of the week and your date and then whatever you want. And this is not a cover. This is actually attached to it. I mean, it is a cover, but it doesn't come off. And then you have your little magnet there so it's a little larger um and definitely more of like a planner situation opposed to like a note situation but i love them both because we know how i feel about notebooks right right i grabbed some earrings to try i have not purchased earrings from this store but i do know several people who have and i'm curious about these i didn't realize what the backs were but i think that's okay these are just little moonstones. You're not going to be able to see them, but they're little moonstones. But you see the ball on the back? I'm like, is that? I don't, I don't know. I guess it's a back that you screw on so you don't lose them. Or is this like a, a ring for something else, an earring for something else? I mean, I don't know. Here, I will try to get it so you can see it. So it's just a cute little moonstone earring. I think they're adorable. I do know that fancy earrings, like real diamonds, have these screw-on backs so you don't lose them. So maybe that's what we're going with here. I don't know, but we'll try them out. I just thought they were super pretty. And I like a little dainty stud, depending on what it is I'm doing. And they were so reasonably priced. I hadn't tried any of their jewelry, so I wanted to see what that was all about. Then I picked up, let me grab some more of these little, little things. Okay, um, this is for my desk, I believe, either my office desk or my desk here, my home office. We have a lot of cables, right? I have a lot of cables. So I'm hoping I can attach this to my glass desktop and corral all of my monitor cables and cables in there that's what this is for but like it has a little teddy bear on it so you just attach it and then you lock your cables and it keeps them organized because all mine come from the floor so we're gonna try that and see if it works i hope the sticky portion is sticky enough i'm just making trash here um i picked up and i hope these work well some new embroidery scissors. I love embroidery scissors, guys. I'm obsessed with buying them all. But I do not have, I do have swan scissors in black. Oh, come on. But I don't have them in this color. It's a rose gold. I mean, I think it'll be okay. Seems like it cuts good. So I got these little swans in the rose gold color. I love them. I don't travel with these because they're a little large. I mean, they're they're fine. The tip, I mean, the, the tip part is fine. But I mean, they're just a little big. But I need them. So I got them. Um, I grabbed this. And I don't want to take it out. Because I'm trying not to let gold foil go all over my house. But it's gold foil. Here, I have scissors right here. Yes, these are craft scissors, I know. Please hold. I'm trying to get into this thing. Where's my corner? Here it is. 
So this is gold foil. I've never worked with it before and I saw it on there and I was like, oh, I gotta try that. So it's tiny, oh, I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's a tiny, we'll just get a piece, little piece of gold foil and you glue it onto things, right? Here we go. So it's just a little piece of gold foil. And you would do like, I gotta get the right brush for it. It's very delicate. So what you would do is put down um, like Mod Podge or some type of glue, and then you rub this on and then you burnish it. And it's super cool. So I had not seen these in my, I mean, I'm sure I have, but it caught my eye and you know, I love crafting and I love gold. So I thought, well, we'll get some gold foil and try that in the craft space. And then for, I wanted to see what these were all about. Sarah, my girls, besties having a baby. And I thought these were adorable, but I'm not so sure. I mean, they have the rubber bottoms on them. And I think if the baby has chubby little feet, but I don't know why a baby this size needs grippers, unless it's for a bigger toddler, maybe. I don't know. But I picked them up to try. So they're just little gripper socks for little people. I just wanted to see what the quality would be of the product for the little people. And I think, I mean, I think they're fine. Um, you gotta hit the sweet spot where they're able to stand up and start walking because these are grippers for your wood floor. So I'll give them to her. You see if she wants them at some point. I picked up a three pack of these. This is the lightning to USB. So it should be for my iPhone. I mean, it comes packaged just like an iPhone does. And you know, they're not giving you stuff anymore when you buy their products, which is just rude. Um, or bricks anyway. So yeah, I mean, it's just a three foot charging cable and it's the lightning USB. So we're gonna try this in my car. That's gonna be the test uh, because in my car, I need a data cable, not just a charging cable in order to use my phone. And I needed a new one. Hi. So I grabbed this one and we'll see if they work. Hi, I'm almost done, I'm almost done. I picked up, I guess I did not take half of this stuff out of the bag. So other earrings to try. And these are for, well, you'll know exactly what they're for when I show them to you. Ah. These are for Christmas time. Hold on, things are falling off here. Yeah, here we go. They're Grinches. So you get the Naughty Grinch. Look at that one. I'm obsessed with this striped one. And then Mr. Grinch. It says, Mr. Grinch, Merry Christmas. So three sets of Grinch earrings. Um, they're, they're very lightweight. They're like that faux leather, but I thought these would be super fun for Christmas time. I love the Grinch. So I grabbed those, and now I also grabbed a hundred pack of these. These are little cello bags, right? So if you do any kind of crafting, gifting, selling, they're just little bags that you can put things in. I mean, they're not like, you're not gonna reuse and reuse and reuse them. They're one time deal here. But what I'm planning to do, because they seal, right? I am going to, when I travel, put my medicine, my daily medicine in here and make myself my own little medicine pack. Right, and then you just fold it over and tape it shut. And it will hold all of my medicine for each day in a little cello bag. And it will take up less room than one of those plastic pill organizers. I take a lot of supplements and different medicines, you know. Um, so I will sort them by day in here and have like a 10 to two week supply of medicine in this little bag. And then in, when I get to the hotel and I need to take my medicine, I can just open it up, pour it out and toss this little tiny piece of plastic or try to reuse it for something else. But I thought that would be fun to take my medicines when I travel. 
And you get 100, so this should last me the next couple years. I don't think I'll be traveling 100 days. They don't have this, the seal top like a zip top. This is a sticker top, but I think that'll be okay because then they'll all go into a zip bag, so... There's that. Um, I grabbed a couple things for car cleaning. My windshield, I don't know about yours, but my windshield is very steep and I have a very hard time getting down in there and cleaning my glass. So I grabbed this little doodah and this piece comes off and you can wash it. So I figured I will just spray my window and try to rub this microfiber down there and see if I can get it clean without smearing it because my arm doesn't go all that way. I don't know, condensation too, if you get condensation on the inside. And then I grabbed this little tool here for the vents. So this is a very stiff brush. So it'll get into those vents and then I can slide that in and get the dust out of my air vents. So it's a little two tool, which this also comes off and you can launder if you need to. Um, I probably just dry dust in there, but this will get into some cr cracks and crevices where the dirt goes. Can you tell that I'm ready to clean my car for springs? I can tell. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, we bought a couple more things. I bought some fabric to try out. One of my coworkers asked me about the fabric and I really wasn't sure. So I grabbed this five pack. It doesn't really give you measurements on the website and it's okay. I mean, it's very rough. It could be very starched, but I think it would be okay for crafting. And I like that it comes coordinated. Like this piece here, definitely not as rough as that other purple, but this has some gold in it. And there is some metallic threads in there or paint. I don't know if it's, yeah, I think it's paint. It's gold paint on the, anything that has the gold highlight is paint. So I'm not sure if that'll wash off. Hard to tell, but I think it's very pretty fabric. Also, if you're doing any kind of crafting like you need some background fabric this will be cute to back any cross stitches that you do i also got in another package some like quilt squares look at that one like i think this is so pretty but the gold faint paint is i don't know if it will hold up to any type of laundry and laundry and some swans or swallows or whatever these birds are wait maybe that's upside down so I think it's super pretty. I just don't know the quality. We'll say that. Um, so I grabbed some of that to try out. All right, two more things. Um, I've been needing some summer socks. I hate it when my socks fall down into my shoes. We're gonna throw it out there. So I'm gonna try this style. So it looks a little higher in the front and it has the little um, tab at the back, which is where it bothers me. They have little cows on them, or supposedly, I don't, I think that's just annoying is what I think, but, um, so I, they came in black, and then we have this big fat black and white stripe, which you wouldn't really see, and the cows on these ones are better, the little cow in the back, and I don't think you'll see those down in your shoe, but look at this one, <laughs> and then these have the little pink cow on the back so that's one two three i think it's four or five pair and then these stripies and then this one just says sweet milk but again i go for the tops like i want this to stay on my foot i do not want my my shoes to eat my socks and that drives me nuts so i figured i got a bunch of different ones to try out which the ones that work work the ones that don't i donate no harm no foul oh i have two more things I saw one of these on um, TikTok. And where's my notebook? I will show you what this does. It is called an eternal pencil. So apparently this metal or whatever this is, it doesn't write on you. It will write on paper like it's pencil. So we're going to try it out. We'll write my name in this book. Well, hello. And it works. And there's an eraser in here. 
But apparently, whatever this material is, doesn't wear down. Hey, hey, doesn't wear down, which is lovely to have. And then there is an eraser down in here, but I haven't figured out where I'm supposed to stick this eraser because it doesn't, it's like buried in here, which is weird, but. So I grabbed a pencil because I thought that would be fun. I do write with pencil when I am doing things that I need to erase. And I saw that on the TikTok and I said, girl, you need that. And then the last thing I got was a set of lipsticks. Now this is cruelty free per the packaging and the company, um, which makes me happy. But you get in this package, one, two, three, four, five, six colors of lip gloss and the pencils that go with them, the lip pencils, which I do like a lip liner. Um, and the lip liners screw, screw up. Let's see how this looks. So this is the last product. Ooh, that goes on smooth. I don't know if it's smudge proof. I don't know if it's supposed to stay on, but this color is calling them all nudes. Oh, this is just color number one. And we'll do one swipe. Mm, I think that's a pretty color. Yeah, I'll wear that. I really like this pink one too. Might as well swatch two. Oh, I like that. I like that pink as well. We're gonna let them dry. I don't, again, I don't know if they're supposed to stay on. I'm not sure, but you get a set of six. And that my friends, I believe, okay, it's not dry yet, is everything I got on this order from Timu. And again, don't forget, there's a 30% discount down below and the links to everything I showed you today. All right, everybody, have a fantastic day and I will talk with you later. Bye.